is Fiona, the Young Adult Librarian in Plain Edge Library. Today I'm going to show you how to do this bottle cap hyacinth painting, which is a nice craft to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. So let's get started. So for today's craft, we just need a few basic supplies. I have some paper here. You want to use a lighter paper to show off your paint. I just went with white, but you can use whatever color you want. And I have some green construction paper for the leaves, uh, an empty bottle with a bottle cap, some glue, a scissors, some paint, and then a dish or a, a paper plate to put your paint in. So you want to get out your white paper first that you're going to paint on. And you're going to need your green paper for the leaves, some glue, and your scissors. So first what we want to do is take the green paper and we're going to cut it into three long thin strips to represent the stems. And you're going to be kind of painting over these so not really something that has to be exact you won't really notice so now that I have my three strips I want to do them in differing heights so I'm going to trim a little bit so I have different heights And then what you want to do is glue them down onto your paper. And then we can get ready to paint. Okay, so now what we need is our plate or dish that we're gonna put the paint in, the paint, and our bottle. You can just use a bottle cap on its own. It's just with the bottle, it gives you a little bit of a steadier hand. So we're going to take our paint. We're gonna pour a little bit out. You don't need that much. You can always add more too. You take your bottle and we're going to dip it upside down like that. And you're going to want to hold your paper down because it's going to stick. And then we're just going to start adding what will be the leaves. you can go back and adjust anything. Okay, so now while we're waiting for our paint to dry, we're gonna do one last step. We're just going to cut out four strips of the green paper to make stalks for our plants. And they don't need to be that big. Just to give it a little extra something. And again, this is something you can do freehand. It doesn't have to be perfect. And we'll keep these and 
we're going to attach them once the paint is dry. So now that our paint is dried, we're just going to finish up by taking the leaves that we had cut out and glue them on to our painting. And here we have our finished painting. It's a creative and pretty way to make a floral painting. I hope you enjoyed today's craft. I did. Uh, we're gonna have more crafts coming up, so stay tuned. And thank you for watching.